to how we shy away to come to take the throne To conquer world powers, bring Jake the home I'm quarterbacking like Jake DeLone Like Mount Rushmore, I got a face of stone You are all the children of light and the children of the day yeah. We are not of the night nor of darkness Nor of darkness, we're children of the day, go ahead on, verse 6, therefore let us not sleep. Let's not what? Let us not sleep. Let us not sleep. It's time to stop sleeping, bro. Right. It's Get time out. to wake up out of the madness and, and out of this bubble that, that America got you on, man. It, it, it's madness. The philosophies, the religions, man, the sports. I mean, some people are even Cowboys fans. Mm. <laughs> I mean, this, it, 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 ain't America, ain't America Babylon? That's about America's team, right? It's Babylon's team. It's, it's, it's Babylon's team, man. You don't want to be a part of. You, don't you? Do you want to be a part of Babylon's team? I'm just saying, man. I, I, we know because, like, the, the scriptures already talk about. And speaking, of, speaking of the Cowboys, the scriptures talk about. The scriptures talk about like Babylon falling in the future, right? Now, now we know that Babylon is a loser. Babylon, Babylon's a loser. So, that, so what does that mean? Their team is going to. Well, that means their team's gonna be losers. <laughs> so when you put that star on, man, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta really realize that, like, <laughs> you really gotta realize that, bro. What, what, what you got on, man? You can't be comfortable. You see what I mean? You see what I mean? Lord in Christ, bro. Give me this. This is Romans chapter thirteen and verse eleven. And therefore, let us not sleep as do others, as do others, right? Americans are on this bubble. Let's let us not sleep like how they do, but what? But let us watch and be sober. Let us watch and be sober. Doesn't mean you can't drink, doesn't mean you can have a good time, but that means to be sober and have an understanding of what's going on around you. It's like how it says, measure out the time diligently. These people ain't measuring the time. I'm like, I'm, I've been here, I, like, I, I, work, I work for I work for a ride-sharing company. Let's just say it like that, I work for a ride-sharing company. And the conversations out here, nobody's talking about what's going on in geopolitics. Nobody's talking about none of that. They ask me, oh, what do you, what do you got for the Super Bowl? What about this? What about that? And it's like, bro, y'all, like, this is this is some heavy ass news. Like this is nuts, bro. Hold on, look at me this. Let me see. I need this again. This is Romans uh, chapter thirteen and verse eleven. Yeah. And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. It's high time to awake out of sleep. It's time for y'all to realize, and even even the, the damn Edomites, bro. It's time for y'all to wake up out of out of y'all's damn sleep, bro. Because like, cause check this out, right? Because check this out, right? This is supposed to be y'all's kingdom. Y'all don't even know what's going on in y'all's kingdom. Here America is. Here America is. What's going on here? Uh, damn. But here, here it is America, right? Here's America wants to be in everybody's country and everybody's business. Right. But they don't even got their own house in order. Yeah. Right? Y'all right don't even know what's going on. Right Could you imagine that? Could you imagine that? Right? You don't even got your own house in order, but you trying to you trying to police the damn world. But you're really not even policing the world, right? You're really just trying to oppress everybody so right. you remain in world power. And the and these simple ass like beyond Americans don't even understand that. Y'all think y'all think y'all sending soldiers over there to uh, to to help the world, make the and to secure your freedom? It's not securing your freedom; it's securing your su to, uh, supremacy. That has nothing to do with that. To so, uh, support the troops, support them do what? Yeah. Them same troops can't put can put us in captivity, yeah. namely the the, the Gadites and the Seminole Indians, the Native Americans, just in general. Uh, A troop same came and overtook them. Right. But guess what? A that. that <laughs> the guy, the troop is gonna overtake them. That's right. That's coming very soon, bro. God. Like that's, that's it's, it's crazy how, the, how, the, how how it works, bro. He's such a benevolent power. Wow. He allows y'all to get this the small little victory, but we will have the everlasting victory. We will have the everlasting victory. You know when that starts? You know when that starts? When the missiles drop. That's right. That's why it's high time for us to wake up out of our sleep. Read that again. God. 
Romans 13 and 11. And that, not knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. Why? For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. And like, check this out, bro. This scripture hits a lot harder today ah. than it did five years ago when I first found out about this truth. Really six years ago, right? Since I first found out about this truth. Because we're seeing, we're seeing Russia say all these things. We're seeing China siding with Russia openly. Because a lot of these countries will do these, these deals, these handshakes behind closed doors. But here's China just embracing them, bro. Like, let's get them. Let's get them, bro. <laughs> This is uh, Matthew chapter 24 and verse 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. So what? And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. We've heard about wars and rumors of wars. We've been hearing about wars and rumors of wars, man. But what? See that ye be not troubled. See you not be, be not what? See see that ye be not troubled. Fact, stop right there. Now go back to Romans chapter 13. We're not going to be troubled. Why? Because we know that this is our salvation. These Americans, these regular everyday Americans, our family members, our friends in the world, all of them, right? They're all going to be troubled because their their little happy life that they built is coming to an end. It's coming to an end. All that money you saved in the bank, thinking you were trying to get over off, off the curses, is coming to naught. It's going to become nothing. You're going to be getting those credits through the mark of the beast. Ah. Hey, all that money you saved up is nothing now. All it's going to come, it's all going to come. It's going to be like Venezuela, where they got money just lying down in the streets. Right. That's coming right. real soon. All that, this happy little life that you built, that white picket fence, is about to be burned to a crisp. All the things you did are in vain. Go ahead. Um, Romans 13 and 11. And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. The night is far spent, the day is at hand. The night is far spent, bro. It's far spent, what does that mean, man? It's the same thing Peter's talking about, about uh, how it's high, it's high time we start riding the wheel of the Gentiles. It's time we just like, just try something different, bro. Because even Jake, even Jake's starting to like the basic ass Jake. It's starting to realize that, like, man, slavery ain't never went nowhere. <laughs> we still at the bottom. Y'all still doing stuff. We gotta make we gotta make laws for y'all to start even treating us on a, a small, minute level as y'all. Like, ain't nothing changed. Y'all just allowed us to walk around and think y'all think y'all are our friends, when in actuality you're not. You walk around America every single day, right? With your uh, <laughs> unmelanated skin burning up every single day and you feel good to be like you know what at least i'm not like these guys. at least i'm not like them right my credit score is 800 i don't gotta worry about getting ripped up ripped out of my car i don't gotta worry about getting shot by police hell i can box with a box with a police right i can point a gun at a policeman right he, he'll take out his taser while i got my gun out <laughs> I don't gotta deal with it, what they gotta deal with. Right. Give me, give me, give me uh, uh, Psalm 70, 73. Teach, right. Give me Psalm 73. Yeah. And, and I realize, bro, like, being a ride share driver, right, I, I've noticed a lot of things. I noticed, I noticed that, that us, and, us and Caucasians specifically live an entirely different life. <laughs> the conversations I hear about the money and stocks that these crackers be moving is nuts. Wait, it's nuts. Niggas be talking about weight. This is more than weight now. <laughs> flying in some, like, boy. Bro, like, like casually talking about, yeah, he just sent me a good $100,000. I'm looking like, I'm like, bro! Can I even get a hundred? <laughs> like, what is this? like the stuff I be hearing is absolutely crazy, bro. Like this is this is this ain't we don't live the same life, bro. No, yeah, yeah. At all, we don't. And like and y'all and y'all know that. The thing is, y'all say so what? It's completely different worlds. Yeah, and y'all know that and like it how it is. That's why I'm gonna ah. change it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I start at three? Uh, God, just the book of 70, uh, Psalms, chapter 73, verse 5. They are not in trouble as other men, yeah. neither are they plagued like other men. They is not plagued like us, bro. 
there'd be months where I'd be like, how the hell am I going to pay rent? <laughs> and these dudes, they eclipse my rent by like a hundred times. Casually. Like, not like, not like, not like it's like, oh, we, uh, that's something we, we worked all our life to get. I'm talking like you casually talking about 10 grand, 100 grand, 200 grand. Like, this is, y'all don't live to say, y'all not playing like this. And y'all got that off this captivity that y'all did. Right. Y'all got this off of being them four horns. You mean, uh, hold up, Rafael. I, I need to give me Zachariah. Give me Zachariah 1. What's up, what? This is Deuteronomy 28 and verse 66. And thy life shall hang in doubt before thee. Yeah, is there a life shall what? Hang in doubt before thee. Yeah. And thou shalt fear day and night. Yeah. And shall have no assurance of thy life. We have no assurance of our life, man. That'd be like, I, don't, I don't know how the hell I'd be like, every time, as a matter of fact, the last two months. I'm like, how the hell am I gonna pay rent? But all the stuff I be on the thing. Like, that's what I'm just saying, bro. Like y'all y'all live a completely for y'all to say we for, for, for Caucasians, right? To say that we are equal and everything is personally fine right now. It's crazy. Y'all don't even believe that. You don't believe that, bro. Y'all ain't worried about y'all rent. Y'all not worried about y'all credit score. Y'all not worried about leaving having an inheritance or leaving an inheritance. You don't gotta worry about setting up your kids. You don't gotta worry about, oh, let me stop, let me stop at this amount of kids because I don't know how the hell I'm gonna afford all of them. Y'all ain't gotta worry about that. Think about that, bro. I think that's something we gotta worry about. We we have to worry about, we have to worry about I can't have too many kids because I barely can pay rent right now. Like that, like this is not our rest whatsoever. Right, like, give me Zachariah one and uh go to twenty one. We can't be at the gas station either. I'm talking about, let me put 20. <laughs> <laughs> this is the book of Zechariah, chapter 1, verse 21. Then said... This is the book of Zechariah, chapter 1, verse 18. Then lifted I up mine eyes and saw, and behold, four horns. Four horns, right? And those horns going into that, that little horn that came up in, in, uh, in uh, Daniel chapter 7, verse 8. Right? I was talking about the Spanish, the French, Britannia, or Great Britain, and America. Right? And let's see what the four horns did. And I said unto the angels that talked with me, what be these? Yeah. And he answered me, these are the horns which have scattered Judah, Israel, and Jerusalem. Yeah, now they scattered Judah, Israel, and Jerusalem. That means all of Israel. It, it established, those are all descendants of, of Israel, but it wanted to get all those houses all those houses are wanted emphasized, overemphasized, to let you know that's all of Israel, right? They scattered all Israel through what? The transatlantic slave trade. Right. Through the slave, through the various captivities we've been in. And that's how they got all these things. That's how they have this massive uh, uh, wealth gap between us. They got all those things. But you know, you know how powerful the Lord is? He had four horns to do that to us because of what we did. And the Lord showed me four carpenters. For what? Four carpenters. That's, that's the four years, bro. The four carpenters are going to do what? Then said I, what come these to do? Yeah. And he spake, saying, These are the horns which have scattered Judah, so that no man did lift up his head. Yeah. But these are, these are, come to fray them. Come to do what? Come to fray them. Come to fray them. What does that mean? To make them tremble and to be destroyed. That's what he's going to do. That's that brick, man. That's that Brazil. That's Russia. <laughs> As a matter of fact, matter of fact what, what, what's the what's the four carpenters? Four carpenters. That's gonna be uh, yeah. Brazil, uh, Russia, India, and uh, China. And China, right? And we just did a lesson on that. That's why I asked them. Right? Now, now here's the thing. They're going to they're going to route they're going to route the four horns. What's the four horns? What's the four horns? This whole establishment right, right here, bro. Right. This whole Western powers. They're going to get routed. And we see that happen. Bro, that's what I'm saying. We measure in the times. We're seeing that happening. We're seeing America get pulled into a war. And like, and the thing is, we're prepared for this. We know this is coming. We're going to be like, the people are like, people going to be talking about this. Like, y'all you know what's going on. The, 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 the war's happening. Like, yeah, we knew about this like two months ago, yeah. nigga. Yeah. <laughs> Where you been at? Where you been at? We been at the same clips you talking about Vladimir Putin is getting translated into English. I was watching that when they only had it in Russia. 
Oh, That's like people just stop finding about an, finding out about anime because it's a dub. They watched it or something. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Let them know. Talk about Let them know. I'm just saying, right? I'm just saying. But we we, we know these things because we measure the time diligently in itself, right? right? But these are. Huh? Hey, what's up, man? Hey, man, y'all got time to hear about the word? You cool? What's up? Fish and bread. Oh, fish and yeah. wow. Fish and bread. Guaranteed, guaranteed is catfish, man. Earth up. And this fire, bro. <laughs> this, this same place. These, these peon Americans, right? These peon Americans. They're all gonna get burnt up in this fire. That's right. None of these, none of these, uh, none of these. How, how do I say? It? None of these Edomites or other nations. All these heathen. The day, the day of the Lord is coming near upon the heathen. All these heathen. None of these heathen are going to captivity. They're all getting burnt up. Right. All of them are getting burnt up with fire. Go ahead. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter nine, verse five. For every battle of the warrior is with confusion and noise. And garments rolled in blood. So every war that's ever been waged has been within confused noise what? and bloody and sores clinging against, like that cling, 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 and stuff like that. Right? That's how every war has been. But this is going to be a different type of war. Right? But this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. This be what? But this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. It's going to be a burning and fuel of fire. It's going to be, what, what's that burning and fuel of fire? These nuclear bombs. All right, All right. Y'all heard like oh, well, y'all ain't heard it. <laughs> we heard it. We, we we heard we heard Vladimir Putin. We heard we heard the sub version, man. Y'all can get the dub version eventually. But we heard the sub version of Vladimir Putin talking about, oh y'all got nukes, but we also last time I checked, we have nukes. And and, 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 what, and ours are better, right? Like a few years ago, one of the very first classes I taught on the Dallas channel was about how Russia had missiles and nuclear capabilities and uh, and, and, and what's what? And subsonic, subsonic uh, missiles, they cannot be shot down. They've been had that sort of, like, matter of fact, that was, bro. Give me, give me uh, second, second Ezra, 16 verse 13, right? Second Ezra, 16, or you already got a... Well, I got Malachi and then... Uh, oh, hold that. Hold that too. Give me, give me second Ezra's. Second Ezra's 16. 16 verse 13. Because watch this. Right? These missiles, these missiles, right? They are not going to be shot down. Amer America's missile defense system is going to be Swiss cheese. Y'all can walk through. It's going to be Swiss cheese, man. Just like, just like, uh, just like last year with the Cowboys defense, man. It's gonna be like Swiss cheese, right? <laughs> this is the book of Second Ezra, chapter 16, verse 13. Or, yeah, come on, verse 13. For strong is the right hand that bendeth the bow. His arrow that he sho showeth, or sh shooteth, so I can, are sharp. Anyway, his, 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 check this out. The arrows that he shooteth. These these arrows are gonna be shot from, from uh, ends of the earth. Mm. This is talking about nukes. Mm. They shoot, they are sharp. What does that mean? They're gonna do uh, sharp arrows do a lot more damage right. and, and, and uh, deliver a lot more penetration compared to dull arrows. Right. Showing you how strong they are. Right. Go ahead. Right. His arrows that he shooteth oh, are look. sharp and shall not miss. Shall not what? And shall not uh, miss. So what? And shall not miss. They shall not miss. When, when, when the spirit, when, when the Lord puts his spirit upon Vladimir Putin to press that button, right? Right. When he presses that button, the missiles ain't coming back to Vladimir Putin. Mm. They're coming to America. Mm. <laughs> coming to an America near you, right? <laughs> they're they're going to hit their targets. He's going to waste this entire area right here, bro. America's only going to be for proud for so, for so, but for so long. But for so long. Now let's, let's see the a description. Let's see two descriptions about how that's going to be. This is Malachi chapter 4 and verse 1. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. Yeah, all the proud, should be, all the proud, all the wicked should be what stubble. What is stubble? Something that easily burns up. It's like how you put newspaper in, and put newspaper in, uh, to, to start fire. Sometimes that's like a little stubble, right? A little piece that burns up real fast. That's what the wicked's gonna be. 
That's what's gonna. That's gonna. Matter of fact, read that again. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, God. and all the proud. All the proud. Who's the proud? The proud Americans, right? Yay. And all that do wickedly. All that do wickedly are people, the black friends, the Native Americans, the Israelites, who want to be two thirds. They're gonna what? Shall be stubble. Shall be what? Shall be stubble. Y'all gonna be stubble, man. Since y'all don't want to, since y'all don't want to measure the time diligently, since y'all don't want to freaking start keeping the commandments of God. Just know everybody, everybody want to do everything else. Everybody don't. Everybody want to sit here and go to pack the Christian church, eat pork all day, do all these things that are contrary to God. You can walk front, man. You saw just do whatever the hell you want to do, man. Hey, that's, a, that's a nice little country you got there, man. It sure be it sure would be unfortunate if I came and brought some some freedom to it. <laughs> we come with some freedom. And the day that coming shall bring burn them up. So what? So what? Bring some democracy. Bring some democracy, man. We gotta bring some order to it, man. And by order, we mean you at the bottom. Man. God bless America. God bless America and nowhere else, man. I just watched that movie just <laughs> God bless America and nowhere else, man. That's fine. God gonna bless America. Right. He's gonna bless America because America's gonna be well off when it's destroyed. Right. Go ahead. That's right. And the day that cometh shall burn them up. Yeah, it shall burn them up. Now give me give me that what you got in Zechariah. Zechariah uh, Zechariah chapter 14 and verse 12. And this shall be the plague right. wherewith right. the Lord shall smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Yeah. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. What, how is that going to be? That's what a nuclear. That's a nuclear bomb, man. That's a nuclear bomb. Right. Y'all's flesh shall consume off of your skin, off off of your bones, rather, mm. before you hit the ground, and then your bones are disintegrate, man. We just we're here talking about some high, man. How about, how about we hop out the how about the car and see what we're talking about? That's what that Terminator? Oh yeah, yeah Terminator. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's on that fence, man. And y'all y'all ain't gonna be in no fence, man. That, like that, like that, that that was that was a nice way, man. Y'all ain't gonna have no fence. Right. Y'all gonna have nothing to grab on to, man. It's, y'all gonna have some weeping and, and gnashing of teeth, man. Until your teeth were gone. And melts. Right. <laughs> what like it's recent, right? <laughs> Uh, this is the book of Obadiah, chapter 1, verse 8. Shall I not in that day, saith the Lord, even destroy the wise men out of Edom, and understanding out of the Mount of Esau? We go back to the verse 3 and 4. The pride of thine heart hath deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock, whose habitation is high, that saith in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? And that's Americans. Right. We America ain't never going to fall. We're proud Americans, man. We can't nobody do nothing to us. But y'all, y'all, America's about to go out the same way Rome went out. Y'all, y'all outsourcing y'all work, Outsource, outsourcing y'all's army, freaking making your dollar worth nothing. Right. Freaking empowering people to where they get mad, they have an uprising, uprising against the government. Y'all, y'all empowering y'all own people and nothing. Y'all damn still uh, uh, coming uprise against y'all, uh, uprise against y'all's. Uh, uh, capital. Could y'all imagine if black people did that? Let's stop and think about that. Could y'all imagine? Could you imagine if blacks and Hispanics uh, uh, grew the balls to run up in the in the in the capital? Bro, that, 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 but they just out there. That, that would be a slaughter, bro. And then and then uh, and then uh, here come white America. Here come Fox News talking about. Well, if they don't want to die, they should have went in there. But let let, let y'all do it. Oh, they're just exercising their, their American right. <laughs> y'all, y'all remember the Tea Party, right? We don't live, we live in two separate places. Right? We live in the same places, but we live in two dramatically separate, separate places. Two, two, three, two, yeah, that's right. Two different dimensions, right? Y'all live, live in the twilight. Y'all live in the twilight zone, man. We live in the goddamn captivity. Zone. That's what we live in. Freaking, what's that? What's that? What's that one with Garlic Jr. and Dragon Ball Z? Oh, that's the uh, the negative zone. No, whatever. What zone is that? Some zone, man. Death zone. Death zone. Yeah, we we stay in the goddamn death zone. Man. That's what we stay. In. Give me a. <laughs> but give me a. Yeah, we do. Man. Give me. Uh, this is verse 4. Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, and though thou set thy nest among the stars, thence will I bring thee down, saith the Lord. 
If thieves came to thee, if robbers by night, how art thou cut off? Would they not have stolen till they had enough? If the grapers, if the grape gatherers came to thee, would they not leave some grapes? That's how you also know that Esau is the so-called Caucasian. Cause y'all take, y'all take, 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 take. And after y'all took everything, y'all come back and see if y'all can take some more. Yeah, right. <laughs> y'all have some, some, some nice land you got there. Have y'all heard of have y'all heard of democracy? We got we got this, we got this democracy for you, man. We got this freedom for you, man. We got this, we got to do something, man. America, yeah, man. That's, that's that's what they do, bro. That's, that's what America. That's what Esau is on, right? That's what they're on. They're not. They don't want. They ain't no peaceful stuff. They know how can we? Like, this is y'all's land. How can we be allies? No, they say. Well, how, how can we? How can we devise to stab you in the back and then blame you for? You see this democracy. Yeah, man, that's how they do. Like, give me a secret. Three. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 38, and verse 3. Shalom, ah. shalom, man. And say, Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, uh, I am against thee, O Gog, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal. Who's Gog? Who, who represents Gog right now? Vladimir Putin. Anybody, because the, the, the area of Gog right now is Russia. Magog, Moscow, capital, right? That's 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 common knowledge. Even over there, it's common knowledge, right? So who's over there right now? Vladimir Putin, and he's he's one of my he's one of my favorite kind of Edomites because he, he, bro, he, he reminds me of Trump in, in different ways. He's entertaining. He don't mind talking some, and he'll back it up when he feels like it, right? And he's doing a, a wonderful job. Man. He's doing a bang up job, man. A bang up job. Right. Verse 4 And I will turn thee back And put hooks into thy jaw what? Put hooks into thy jaws And I will bring thee forth And all thine army Horses and horsemen All that army of horses and horsemen What's that similar to? What is that similar to? I talk about them preparing these nukes Preparing these silos Preparing these missiles Preparing their, their, their warfare For what's going to happen in Kabul all those things, all, all of their whole, all their military, all their military, man. Y'all gonna pull NATO into a war? What's going? What, what comes with NATO? America. What's gonna end up happening? NATO's gonna hate America. America's gonna destroy this place. That's what's gonna happen, right? And, and the thing is, it was was crazy. Give me, give me uh, Revelation 17 verse 16. And uh, give me no, uh, horses and horsemen. All of them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company with bucklers and shields, all of them handling swords. Persia, Ethiopia, and Libya with them. That's the Russian alliance. That's the Russian alliance, bro. All of them with shield and helmet. Gomer and all his bands, the house of to uh, Togarma, of the, uh, the house of Togomar of the North Quarters and all his lands, and many people with thee. Be thou prepared and prepared for thyself, thou and all thy company that are assembled unto thee, and be thou a guard unto them. Now check this out, right? Now what, is, what are they preparing for? They're preparing for World War Three, right? That's something you, that's something you dumb Americans ain't preparing for. Y'all are not preparing for World War Three, bro. Nothing. Yeah, man. What, what, what is this, man? Like, that's what you call over domestication. It's like they gotta put something in captivity. Man. It's like they have to have something. Like you know why I love animals so much? They have they they can't have us in the type of captivity they want because we would have missed the uprise. But they gotta have something in captivity. It's in their blood. They gotta have something in captivity. They got their snake in captivity. They got a, they must have snakes, tigers, freaking stuff, stuff that they don't stuff that, stuff that don't even make no sense to domesticate. Here they here they come trying to put it in captivity. That make, that make no food cordons. What car? Who is that man? Is that is that one of us? Is that one of us? No, that's, one of me. that's cool, man. That's cool. Yeah, That stuff that don't make no damn sense. Where was that? No, you said Yeah, whatever.
Come on, this is the book of Revelation, chapter 17, verse 16. And then, and, and the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the horn. They shall what? They shall hate the horn. So NATO is going to get tired of America. And I mean, why, no, why wouldn't it? Right? Why wouldn't it? Go ahead. And shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. Eat her flesh and burn her with fire. What is that talking about? Them nukes. That's coming. For God hath put it, fuck it. For God hath put in their hearts to fulfill His will. God hath put it in their hearts and fulfill His will, so that His will may be done. Right now, Vladimir, because I, I talked about this earlier, Vladimir Putin said, "I don't even." I'm like, he said, like, uh, what did Vladimir say? He said, like, we, y'all got nukes, y'all got nukes, right? But we got nukes too. Now I don't want to do this. But I'm just I'm paraphrasing. I mean, you pull my card. I mean, I'm gonna have to do it, man. And you, I mean, you want to say you like y'all here saying y'all here saying be Vladimir. Like you trying to say Vladimir ain't no real. Y'all y'all like y'all y'all trying to say Vladimir ain't no real. Man, like I'm not about to pull this card. I don't want to do that. But I mean, if you make me do it, I'm gonna do it, right? And the Lord's gonna make him do that. The Lord's gonna make him do that. He's putting that hooks in his jaws, man. God, this is Proverbs 21 from the top. The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. As the rivers of water, he turneth it whatsoever he will. He turn it whatsoever he will. So if you if you don't want to destroy, if you wake up every day probably not trying to destroy Babylon, but the Lord is going to put it in his heart to do so. And all praise is for it, man. And all praise is for it. And why all praise for that? Because that is our salvation. When this place gets destroyed, when you simple beyond Americans, Right? Let's we'll see you sit at the house looking at Lizzie McGuire on goddamn day, man. Full house. Right? <laughs> that fuller house, man. Got that, all that all that shit, man. You know, Brady Bunch. Right? Pull up some freaking boy meets world talking about some talking about some Topanga. And shit. Right? Y'all wanna look at all y'all y'all paying attention to that, but the Lord about to destroy y'all and it's going on. They're gonna be what I do for him. I say, they're gonna be wonderfully destroyed. They're gonna be one. It's gonna be wonderfully destroyed. Man. Like the songs, I was beautifully and wonderfully made. They're gonna be wonderfully and beautifully destroyed. Man. Right, right. That I'm gonna say, call all your how about you, y'all shines and shout.